may sound all too familiar. A big budget deficit, underfunded pensions, no money for health care costs. And on top of all that, a new jail project that sits abandoned. This is the Wayne County that a new executive will take over. And as 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner shows you, fast action is going to be needed to avoid a state takeover. We all know what happened here at City Hall. The state put an emergency manager in charge to keep that from happening in Wayne County. Experts say cut the budget fast, focus on core services, the prosecutor, the sheriff, public safety. Emergency management is never the first choice. You'd rather have your elected officials take care of it themselves. There is not a lot of breathing room here. Uh, the, the state is reviewing the county's finances. The next step is a review team, and then after that, it would be an emergency manager. Wayne County has major financial issues, a $99 million deficit, only 45% funding on employee pensions, nothing set for retiree health care. Experts say focus on core services. But the big public safety departments, prosecutor and sheriff, run their own departments with the money given by the county executive. It's an incredibly delicate balance, and uh, Robert Ficano never figured that out. He was never able to get Kim Worthy uh, and Benny Napoleon or Warren Evans before him to, to work with him. They don't have a lot of time, uh, and tough decisions need to be made early and quickly, uh, and we are strongly encouraging them to do that. There's still a November election, but whoever is the new county executive, he'll take over January 1st. In downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Well,